And they traded places again and again for this story's a loop and it has no end. Oh! I get it now, because like just... Okay, well in that case... Alright, let's let me get one of these. I'll just put this right on here. <clears throat> one fine morning, a man woke from his sleep. He stretched out his arms and got to his feet. He buttoned the shirt that he wanted to wear. Then he went to the mirror, where he combed his hair. He buckled his belt. Yet still, he was thinking, I'm not fully dressed. Something is missing. Yet he realized his hat, which was not on the hook, should be on his head. So he started to look. He looked on the floor, and he looked in the hall. Yet there was no sign of his hat at all. He checked in his fridge. He checked in his workshop. He searched his whole house from bottom to top. And he paused in his searching and wondered and sat, Where on earth is his favorite hat? He looked through his drawers. He looked in his chair. He searched through his cupboard. His hat was nowhere. And though he searched far, and though he searched wide, somehow his hat continued to hide. Then he picked up a ladder to go up to the roof, for perhaps his hat Okay, was wait, why would it be on the roof? And as he addressed the man on the screen, he appeared a tad crazy, so it would seem. Oh my god, can you please at least stop with the rhyming? But the narrator continued, not thrown off by his timing. <sighs> okay. To hell with this. Uh, <laughs> please do be careful. Try not to swear. There are small children watching out there. Um, and then he went off. But where could he be? To search for his hat... That seemed quite likely. What in the heavens? Oh my, and oh dear. Please go back up. Why are you down here? Let's try this again. Where the hell is my hat? Have you been wearing my hat this whole time? No, now get up there. Though I must admit, you ruined my story, you dumb piece of shit. I'll take that.